Hello and welcome to today's urgent cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be going through the massive move down that we are seeing right now on the Bitcoin and Ethereum charts. I'll be going over the question of is this a really good time to buy Bitcoin or in fact will this downtrend continue to much lower levels. I really hope you enjoy the analysis that I have for you today really time sensitive information so we're going to get straight into the charts here uh starting with bitcoin so bitcoin 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 let's cover really quickly first of all the bounce that we had yesterday i just need you all to remember that this bounce that we had on bitcoin from the low to the high there was a bounce of 15 percent 15 percent bounce to the upside you have to remember that is a crazy amount of percentage bounce so it's a really 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 strong bounce okay but Ladies and gentlemen, what resistance did we come up to? Which resistance was I showing you yesterday during that urgent Bitcoin move that we were seeing? That was the trend line. So ladies and gentlemen, let's just review that trend line one more time. We're obviously looking at this downtrend trend line. Okay, we were connecting the highs. And look at that. Our trend line literally was the very, very, very top of the move. Trend line touched one, trend line touched two, three, four, bam five touches and a really strong rejection to the downside so can we all agree that this trend line is very 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 important very important trend line it has held us down now five times on this chart so this is something you really need to be aware of because if you were watching yesterday's video you will know i was in a long position on bitcoin i was in a long on bitcoin and this is the thing that you got to remember that this is you know, you've got to take profits at these resistances. And I'm going to show you now a really good confluence that we had on that resistance. And that was this London point of control. So we had the London point of control at the very high, which was I was aware of the since eight o'clock. We obviously hit that in the end at around 11. Uh, so three hours later, we came back into our London point of control, which was in confluence with the trend line. So there you have two really big resistances. And, you know, this is the thing that I'd like to approach. That I'm sure many people are like really scared at the moment. You know, that, that's a, I think we can all agree that the market right now is ultra fearful. You know, you're seeing really big red days. You know, you're seeing Bitcoin down 11% today. You're seeing Ethereum down 16%. The market is just going down and down and down right now. The market is ultra fearful. So how can you protect, you know, what, remembering that the market's ultra fearful and remembering I was trading along yesterday, how can you not be fearful? How do you remove that emotion of being fearful, of being scared? Well, number one is by having a plan. If you're, you know, if you're almost prepared for these moves to the downside, well, you're not going to be scared when they happen. Number two is by not using too much leverage. Of course, if you're using like times 10, times 20, times 50 leverage, you're going to either be liquidated already or you're going to be very scared because you're going to be looking at that liquidation price and thinking it's game over. So if you have a plan, if you don't use stupid amounts of leverage, which I always say is a bad idea. And finally, if you take profits, you are in a very advantageous position because the, what I was able to do, I was buying yesterday heavily after we retraced and back tested our daily, which I'll cover during the course of the video. But then via taking profits at the highs, you're able to add back down on lower. So personally, I view this as a really good long opportunity. And I understand the market is moving down heavily right now. The market is ultra fearful. Everybody's expecting much lower levels. But personally, I will be going over now the reasons why we are bouncing. And the reasons why I personally view this as support. So let me show you then, ladies and gentlemen. Let's load up our high term time frame levels. Bam. Here we have three important daily levels. You can see the respect of these daily levels. We obviously had the back test of that daily where I was adding heavily to my long positions. We managed to come back up into our resistance trend line, the London point of control. Bam, 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 bam. Very, 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 very nice. And that was obviously the very high of the move, which was even nicer. And we make our way down, test our daily again. We lose it. We're now hovering around this daily. And look at this. The absolute low of the move was at our third daily level. And I know for a fact, some people are going to be saying, Daniel, there's no way that you had this daily marked on the chart before it came down to here and hit it to basically the dollar. There's no way. I'd just like to show you really briefly 
a clip from Sunday's live stream, which was for the champion. So you can actually see the levels that I have marked here and, you know, my idea and plan. Um, buying up here, I just couldn't do to myself for a swing trade. You can see here we have the dailies 51,600, 47,900 and 44,888. So those were our levels marked while we were still sitting 30% higher on the Bitcoin chart. You know, we're all ready and waiting for this. You can see the invalidations that I'm putting on this is below the daily. And now if we bring back to the chart that we have right now, you can see we didn't breach that lower daily level. So we have not breached the lower daily level. And I will show you for transparency as well how this long position looks. So if we add on that long position, I went for laddered entries. So this basically means four laddered entries, as you can see here, four laddered entries, uh, giving you a average nice price. And then this is how the trade progressed. So from our lowest entry, we obviously had a 15% bounce to the upside. We hit, well, I hope everybody in my group did as well, uh, hit take profit one. So this is obviously a major place where you have to take profits. You have to take profits. And then from hitting take profit one, we obviously have seen a big retracement to the downside. But we have not been invalidated on this trade thus far. OK, so that, now I want to cover a few different things. Now we've shown you that. OK, so we're aware right now that we have this really big trend line resistance. We can see that this is going to be coming in at around... Um, See, it, obviously, this depends on the speed of the bounce, but let's say that we, you know, I'm not necessarily expecting this, but let's just say we had a quick bounce. That would come in at around $52,500. So you might want to write down these levels. $52,500 is a key resistance, isn't it? Because then you've got your trend line resistance again here. It's going to be around that daily. So $52,500, such a key resistance level. Okay. So, you know, we're trying to become, you know, we're trying to, do an original thesis and now we're trying to you know work out you know the answers to this so one could say is it more probable that we head down to much lower levels right now or will we will we bottom out here and 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 start a new you know a new impulse to the upside and one could say you know i'm going to provide a few different thought-provoking ideas i suppose one could say while we remain in a downtrend so while we are unable to break our downtrend resistance line you could argue that it's more likely now that price is going to head down. We have entered a strong downtrend. Market's fearful. There's not much buyers coming in right now. So you could argue with that simple fact alone that it's likely that we head down to lower levels. Obviously, your lower levels, it could just be like $40,000. But still, that's like another, you know, that's still another $7,000 lower than where we are now. So you could potentially obviously see that big $40,000 tested again. Uh, $42,000, obviously, the last high. So that, that, that's one factor I feel that you could say that this is bearish. We are making lower highs. We're making lower lows. We're unable to breach key resistances. And, you know, the market sell off is continuing. So that's obviously a bearish factor. How I prefer to view this is just as when I'm like viewing the charts before this drop. You know, my exact words are, you know, it's it's stupid and it's really dumb to buy up at like fifty eight thousand dollars. You know, if you're buying up here for a swing trade, you know, you see how crazy that is. It's really, really, really stupid. You've got to wait for these retracements. Most people are, are going to be saying to you, to you while you're up here, these retracements are never going to happen. But when they happen personally, and I need to stress this, no financial advice. Um no financial advice in this video. I cannot edit the video because I need to upload it instantly because it's really time sensitive information. So I'm just going to put this here. Please understand no, no financial advice, just an educational entertainment video. Please read this to make sure you understand. In my, but in my perspective, um, you know, my opinion of this, this chart, just as I think it's crazy too long for a swing trade up here and I would never do it. When price comes down to these big support levels, again, those big daily levels that we have marked out i mean personally i'm happy to put my money on a long trade and i do have my money still on my long trade um and i know there's going to be backlash from people there's going to be people that say this is crazy la 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 you know you have to remember i have my risk management i already know that if i get stopped out of the trade how much i'm willing to lose and personally i view this as a long opportunity simply because the market's really fearful. We hit our bottom daily support. I mean, we hit our bottom daily support. How can I be saying this is bearish? This is support. Okay. 
Um, and I understand the risk involved that we are in a downtrend. We are impulsing to the downside currently. We have not reclaimed any resistances. So I understand that, that, that this is a high risk trade. But you might say this is a really risky long. But I would say this is actually a really, this, you know, this in my opinion is a safe trade because I know exactly where I'm wrong. I know where my stop loss is. And I just view the opportunity. And again, this is how I approach trading. I approach trading in a probabilistic manner. I know with 100%, you know, that there's always the possibility that I lose the trade. Um, because when you approach trading in this probabilistic manner, you know that anything can happen in trading. You could literally see this go, bam, instantly reverse to the upside. You could also see this absolutely dump down to much lower levels than anyone expects. Okay. I understand that, you know, I, I, I know how trading works and I know the importance of taking profits. You know, I know I've been doing this long enough to know sometimes you can feel you're in a really good trade and those really good trades can turn against you. This is why I understand. I have the experience to know to take profits at resistance. OK, and I also understand where to place a stop loss, where to have an invalidation. So when I understand how I enter, how I have a stop loss and how I have a take profit, you don't need to worry about me. You really don't. <laughs> if I get stopped out the trade, I get stopped out the trade. But, um, you know, for me, I'm really, really, really aware of where our next big resistance is, which is obviously 52500 Obviously, you have your psychological $50,000. That's you know, naturally going to be a big one. And I understand that right now, literally everybody's really, really, really scared. Most people are not going to be have any interest in buying this. I mean, is this a crazy decision buying? I mean, again, in my opinion, no, because I literally have a stop loss. I know where I'm wrong and I know why I'm entering this trade. So, you know, for me, the, the risk to reward is saying, yeah, this is a this is a good trade. Uh, could I get stopped out? Yes, absolutely. This could you, you could literally I could upload this video when we're sat at forty thousand dollars and you're like, wow, Daniel just got stopped out of that trade. I'm going to say, yeah, I got stopped out of that trade. Doesn't really, honestly, it doesn't matter to me. We can't expect 100 percent win rates. You you have to take losses in trading, you know. So I, what will either happen is I'll either get stopped out this trade and I'll move on to the next trade because there's always another really, really, really good opportunity. Or alternatively, this ends in a nice long trade and I have a nice long, you know. Uh, so it's as simple as that, really. Um, so that's Bitcoin. How long have we been going? 12 minutes. Let me really quickly cover Ethereum. I want to do this really quick. Uh, obviously, we were looking at that weekly level yesterday and saying it was, it felt very unlikely that we were going to come down to here. But I obviously was saying I'm definitely not buying Ethereum up here. I would only buy it if it comes down to that weekly. We have hit that weekly um, for, for $1,365. So that was our big level of Ethereum support. That was our big level of Bitcoin support. You have bounced off the daily on Bitcoin. You have bounced off of that weekly on Ethereum yeah that's crazy um I'll, I'll, I'll probably do a separate video for ethereum uh, i don't want to i don't want this video to go on much longer than 12 minutes to be honest with you what i will say is if, you, if you've enjoyed me giving you a real analysis no moon boy stuff no crazy bearish stuff just giving you my honest opinion of the chart my honest way that i'm trading this with transparency um you know you can smash up the likes and i suppose if we get let's say thousand likes 1000 ish likes uh i'll go live for you and do a do a public live stream that will be the second live stream i've already done a members live stream this morning <laughs> already done a members live stream and i'll do another live stream for you um if we get a thousand likes because why not live streams galore so i hope that you've enjoyed the video i hope you understand why i'm happy to buy this fear and uh, you understand how I'm, I'm approaching this um yeah, while everybody's really greedy up at the highs, I'm going to be looking for lower. And while everybody's really fearful at the lows, I'm going to be looking for higher. So there you go. You understand the plan. Hope you enjoy. And thank you, everybody, ever so much. And goodbye. Cheers.